And I'm going to tell you one more thing before we get to your final question, and we got to do a part two of this. <laughs> yes. Two, three, four, five. I like to tell you these little behind the scenes stories. By the way, I don't holler when we talk about these things <laughs> when it's just me and her. Wouldn't that be weird? Holly, touch your neighbor. It's like high five and bow. <laughs> But we do this. This is what we do. Yep. Some of the best sermons I ever preached were our 3.2 mile walk yep. after Sunday when we start talking and then you start sharing. And I think you really need somebody that you love in your life, whether in an e group or whether somebody that you love where you can unpack the word of God. Because yes. if God speaks a word over you, but then you don't water it, yep. it'll die and you'll think it didn't work. Yep. But it just needs water. Yep. And I think what we're trying to model today, and I know it's a little different way to do it, but that God is a conversationalist. Yeah. And um, when I say do the new you, sometimes the only way for you to do the new you, singular, is to do the new you, plural. Mm. In the South, we don't say you all, we say y'all. So one day I'm gonna do a group study called Do the New Y'all. Do the New Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason I'm gonna do it is because I want you to see <laughs> that if you keep hearing at the level of what God says, but you keep relating to people who are at the level of what they feel, you will come down to them time after time. Wow. And so this this core belief for me. Um, we were in a songwriting session a few years ago. You know, a lot of people will ask me sometimes, what's the best song you ever wrote that was underrated in your mind? I think one that I really like, and I don't know if it's underrated, but nobody ever talks about it. It makes me mad. Um, it's called The One You Love. It's definitely and not underrated. When we were writing that song, um, well, why aren't y'all streaming it? There's no streams on Spotify for that song. Y'all <laughs> clapping and stuff, but. Um, the song was a journey with some other great writers. and I don't say this to insult any of them, but at, at one point during the writing session, there were several writers, and we were working on the song, and the second verse began to come out in a way where it said, I know you're proud of me, even though I don't deserve it sometimes. No, I'm not a perfect child, but I still make my father smile. I know you're proud of me. And Then the chorus said, you take me just as I am. You would choose me all over again. I am the one you love. You know that's what John called himself in the Bible. Yeah. The one he loves. The one he loves. And somebody in the room said, I don't know if theologically I can really vibe with the fact that God is proud of me. And I said, Then you don't have to sing it. Mm. But I've got to, because mm. I deal with so much self-critical internal dialogue, and maybe you don't. And if you don't, I'm happy for you, and I hope you never do. But God sent me to reach a few people that you don't know how to hear that voice saying, this is my child. Mm. I saw you go out of your way for that person, even though they didn't thank you. I saw that. I see you giving what you have, even though you feel like you blew it and you yelled at the kids six times today. The reason you're yelling with them is because you're with them. Can say that again. Yeah, sometimes the Lord will say, I'm proud of you that you were so caring to your kids today. And sometimes he'll say, I'm so proud of you that you didn't kill <laughs> your kids today. Now, I realize that people will take this to the extreme sometimes and just justify behavior that, that frankly, God wants to rescue you from. But even if you're going to grow out of that, you're going to do it by accepting that you make your father smile. Yeah. Even though you're not a perfect child and you've accepted Jesus, if you haven't, you ought to do it today, but you also ought to accept. You. Yeah. Because he did. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He accepted you? 
and you don't? You have a higher standard than God? Whoa. Whoa. So I just want you breathing in this thought, Christ is in me. I am enough. Say it again. Christ is in me. Christ is in me. I am enough. I am enough. That's the most powerful revelation, I think, in the whole book. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Elevation Plus. We consider you part of our EFAM, which is our online family. That's right, so make sure you are liking, subscribing, sharing Elevation Plus, and come back here so you can find out more about great stories, yep. great creative elements, and also join us every week for Coffee Fam. That's right.